Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abigail and today's video is going to be how to wake up early in the morning. I will admit I was not always a morning person. When I was a teenager I was a huge night owl. I stayed up super late. I stayed up to like midnight, one in the morning, and then I would get up at six for school. So I not only stayed up super late, but I also had really bad sleeping habits. And I also had insomnia when I was younger as well. I would lay in bed sometimes all night and I would not be able to sleep. You know, once I hit my 20s, the insomnia kind of stopped for whatever reason. I'm not sure how but I just started sleeping better at night and I also started shifting to being more of a morning person and started going to bed earlier, which in turn woke up earlier. And right now I get up at 5.30 in the morning. And the main reason why I get up at 5.30 in the morning is because of my work schedule. I start work at my ed tech job at 8 a.m and it's kind of a drive, so I have to be out the door at 7 a.m. So getting up at 5.30 gives me an hour and a half. So that is probably the main reason why I get up so early, but also I feel more productive when I get up early. I just love the feeling of accomplishing a lot of stuff in the morning, and it makes me feel good. That Those are my main reasons why I get up early. I will share some of the tips that have helped me become a morning person and might help you. So my first thing that I think is probably the most important is to have something that you really look forward to in the morning in order to get up. I mean, you need to have a good reason to get up in the morning and something that you're excited about. For me, I don't like to rush in the morning. The first thing after feeding the screaming cats, of course, is I like to sit down with a cup of coffee and I just sit and relax as the sun is rising and that's when I check my email and check my social media. I just kind of check in. That is my favorite part of the morning is sitting down with my cup of coffee. To be honest, I was not always a coffee drinker. I started drinking coffee when I started working as an ed tech a few years ago. That's when I started really getting into coffee. And I've gotten into a brand called Coffee Over Cardio that makes really amazing flavored coffees. Actually, I will show you a couple of my favorites. This one is my all-time favorite. It is Saturday's Chocolate Donut. It is so good. I look forward to this one all the time. It is my go-to staple. I buy it over and over and over again. The other one that I've been enjoying lately is a relatively new flavor. It's part of um, Abby's Secret Stash program. It's called Gimme S'mores Chocolate Marshmallow. It smells like a s'more. It is so good. And this was April's exclusive flavor. Abby's Secret Stash comes out with a new flavor each month and May's exclusive flavor is called Glazed Donut. And I'm really excited about that. This video is not sponsored by Coffee Over Cardio, but I do have an affiliate link down in my description. You can click the link and check them out if you want to check out what other flavors they have. I also have a discount code 10 Abigail May that will save you 10% off your order. Anyways, the point of this was that I love coffee and that's what helps me get up in the morning is to enjoy my cup of coffee. And you know, for some people it'll be different. You know, some people like to work out in the morning. That could be something that motivates you to get out of bed earlier in the morning. Whatever it is, just find that thing that motivates you to get out of bed. My second piece of advice is to take it in baby steps, especially if you are not used to getting up early in the morning. You know, I've known people who have gotten up at 9, 10 a.m. on a regular basis, and if your goal is to get up at 5.30, you know, start off an hour early. So if you get up at 10, 
try getting up at 9 for a little while and see how that works. And then after a while, try getting up at 8, etc. Until you work your way to the time that you want to get up. And I've had to take it in baby steps, especially during school breaks. I tend to sleep in a little bit later. And then before I get back into school, I'll start getting up earlier again to get used to it again. But I don't get up too much later on school breaks. Probably naturally, I would get up at around 7. So 5.30 really isn't too bad, but I just naturally get up early. And for some people, it's not natural. You sometimes have to work at it. Part of that is also making sure that you go to bed at a specific time. Side note, if you want to get up early, make sure you get enough sleep. And I am an eight hour sleeper. I've known people who are six hour sleepers and six hours is enough, but I need eight hours. So getting up at 5.30, I go to bed at 9.30, which may sound early to a lot of people, but honestly, I get pretty tired at around nine o'clock because I get up so early. I've talked about coffee a lot in this video already, but my next tip also has to do with coffee, and that is to avoid caffeine later in the day. And if you drink coffee or tea, whatever it is, later in the day, that can affect your sleep, and you may not be able to fall asleep right away. So I usually, later in the day, if I want a cup of coffee, I switch to decaf. And I have this from Coffee Over Cardio. It is Night Owl Decaf Coffee. This is their only decaf coffee that they have. It's a medium roast and it is definitely helps with that coffee craving that I have. My rule of thumb for me is if it's past three o'clock, then I do not have another caffeinated cup of coffee. And if I want coffee, then I'll have a decaf cup. So that way I'm not staying up all night. Another tip I have is to be active during the day. And you don't necessarily have to work out in the morning, but just having a little bit of exercise during the day will help you sleep better at night, even if it's just going for a walk. Dan and I like to go on walks after he gets out of work, and they usually last probably about half an hour or so. Even that little bit of exercise will help in the long run help us sleep at night. I usually also try to do a bit of a workout during the day, especially if I'm not involved in dance. If I do dance, then I'm usually pretty active, but there are periods of time where I don't do any dance classes, so I just find a workout off of YouTube and I will do that workout. So those are all the tips that I have. Have something that you look forward to in the morning to motivate you to get out of bed. Take baby steps if you're not used to waking up in the morning, avoid caffeine later in the day, and be sure to be active at some point during your day. Those things will help, definitely. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you aren't already. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the time my birthday comes around. I turn 28 on June. 28 and that would be an awesome birthday present if I could reach a thousand subscribers. All of my social media links are down below and you can also check out Coffee Over Cardio in my links below. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!